here we are drilling the holes in the uh, differentials for the bevel gears as you can see I've done both sides I've got my centre pointer in that side I've just centre drilled this one did it just by making up a, a mandrel that I found the centre of using the centre locator and uh, yeah that means that's exactly in centre once I've drilled one side the other one should be perfect Here we are then, starting on the crown wheels for the differential unit. Going to uh, hold in the chuck on this side and give this a face off. And then I'll uh, hold it on the face plate by drilling a couple of holes. Um, similar place to where the locking pins will be. And then complete all the work on this side, including the bore and the outside diameter of this. And then yeah, fate, turn it around again put the angle on these edges and then get to cutting the gears so as you can see here I've decided to follow Ivan Law's book on cutting gears uh, he says about using parallel depth gears which I've done and I've laid them out as per uh, his instructions in his book you can see that they're six diametral pitch uh, depth of cut is going to be 0.36. I'm not sure my little walk over will handle that, but we'll see. As you can see from the pictures, I've already worked out the amount of offset and the amount of rotation for the second cut, which you'll be able to see in future pictures. It's a great book on cutting gears by Evan Law. I'll uh, put a link in the description below for anyone that has got gear cutting coming up. I know a few of my watchers do, and I uh, wish them the best of luck and any help that I can offer I do so just message me if you need any help Good evening everybody, this is uh, me out in the garage, absolutely heaving it down, just uh, cutting the teeth on the on the pinions, the bevel gears, for the differential units, they're 6 DP, 6 diametral pitch and 9 teeth each, 
quite a low tooth count for any kind of gear. Um, but yeah, they should come out all right. All the calculations line up, uh, as I showed you. So yeah, I'll show you how it comes out. Each tooth is 10 turns of the wheel, as it's a 90 to 1 dividing head. So pretty standard, really. And you can see the setup I've got. It's quite a quite a long stick out, but uh, I'm only taking 0.1 cuts, as the uh, gearbox on the old Warco doesn't quite seem hefty enough to take the full 0.36. So yeah, show you how it goes.